Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is DMR Games and today I'm going to be showing you how I earn my simoleons, life points, and social points in The Sims Replay. So currently I have 7.7 .7 million simoleons, 77 life points, and 20 social points. So I'm sure a lot of you are probably looking at that being like, oh my gosh, like how did you get that? Did you hack your game? Did you buy all of it? And the answer is no, I do not hack my game because that would make the game boring. And I certainly do not buy all of my life points and social points because that would get very, very expensive. I actually earn all of the stuff that you see. So the chapters are enabled on this video. So you can skip to a specific segment of the video of the specific like resource that you need. If you need simoleons, you can skip to that chapter if you need life points you can skip to that chapter and if you need social points you can also skip to that chapter so without further ado let's get started one method of earning simoleons that i use is gardening because gardening can give you lots and lots of simoleons as well as xp so one thing that you can do with gardening is you can base your gardening schedule with your real life schedule so for example if i'm going to bed for the night i will have my sims plant either onions or beans because those take seven to nine hours so basically you can base this off of whatever you're doing in the day so if you know that you're going to be playing for a couple more minutes and you can plant something like corn which takes 20 minutes or if you know you're not going to be online for a little bit you can plant something that can take a couple hours to grow so then the next morning when i come back onto my game all my sims will be done gardening which can give me a really really nice profit If you are going to do this method though, make sure your sims are inspired before they start gardening, which how I inspire my sims, I use the rainbow cake slices, which is a VIP feature, but basically what a rainbow cake slice does, I will go in and give a rainbow cake slice to all of my sims who aren't inspired. And when I say confirm inspiration, it will instantly inspire them. When sims are inspired, they will earn more simoleons and XP, which is definitely great for gardening. Another method I use is definitely to spin the simoleon sprout, which can be spun every four hours. It costs 250 simoleons, however, you earn a profit every single time, as the lowest amount you can earn from this is 350, which is still 100 simoleons profit. You can get pretty unlucky with this, as I did here, however, you can spin it every four hours, giving you six chances every day to spin it. You can also spend five life points to speed up the four hours to spin it again, but I really don't recommend you do that as it can be kind of a waste. This next method I use is my personal favorite and this is how I earn millions of simoleons every time and that is through cake farms. This method does require you to have Facebook and have friends on Facebook that have cake farms. But my favorite cake farm is from Chelsea Sims Farms, which she has five amazing cake farms that are so, so great. The first thing you'll notice when you enter a cake farm is that there are tons and tons of cakes, which basically you can collect those cakes, which give you thousands of simoleons and also XP as well. By using this method, I can earn around 1 million to 3 million simoleons in just five minutes. So this is absolutely great. And this is definitely my favorite method of earning simoleons just because I can earn so much in such little time. If you are interested in checking out Chelsea Sims Farms uh, cake farms, I will leave a link to her Facebook down below so you can add her as a friend. She will try to get back to you as soon as she can. Um, I know everyone has real life that they have to deal with outside of games. So just please be patient if you do send her a friend request and she doesn't reply right away. So if you do have Facebook, I would definitely recommend this method. That is my absolute favorite one. And I earn so much simoleons from this. It saves me so much time from gardening and stuff like that when you can just collect millions of simoleons in just minutes. So this is absolutely great. I know I've said that so many times, but I just can't get over it. So those are the ways I earn simoleons in The Sims Free Play, but now let's move on to some of my favorite ways of how I earn life points in The Sims Free Play. So my most favorite method of earning life points in The Sims Free Play is definitely to complete the cooking hobby. So the first time you complete the cooking hobby collection, you will earn these nice looking cutting boards, but every time after that, you will earn five life points. 
So this is the setup I prefer. I basically took the unfurnished studio, added 10 stoves, a fridge, and I also added a toaster. However, what I did with the toaster, I made it facing the wall. So that way Sims can't reach it, but they can still use it, which is quite odd. But um, it definitely makes it useful so that way they won't get in each other's way and they will stay at their ovens. But basically all you have to do is just keep making your Sims cook cheese and tomato on toast because that only takes one minute and every time they're done just keep making them cook cheese and tomato on toast over and over and over again. This is the fastest way to earn the cooking accessories which the cooking accessories is how you fill out the um, cooking hobby collection which is how you earn your 5 LP. The one issue with this method is that it's going to get very messy so as you can see there are plates of toast absolutely everywhere even in the yard. So I recommend doing this on a lot that you specifically made for this hobby like I did. Just because if I were to clean up all these plates of toast, it would take forever, which I really do not have the patience for that. So that's why I made a separate lot for that. So I don't have to worry about it because I personally don't mind it, but I know some people will. So if you're going to do this and it's going to bother you, then I would recommend you make a separate lot like I did. Once you complete the cooking hobby collection, uh, you will earn five LP. So this method is really, really great. I use this method all the time. And once you collect those five LPs, uh, you can hit start new accessory collection and you can earn more LP from this. You can do this as many times as you want. So this method is so, so great. You can use other hobbies for this method. It's just cooking is the fastest. The next method I use works, but it's not as effective as the cooking hobby. And this is by using pet farms. Now, in order to have pet farms, you need to have a neighbor on Facebook that has a pet farm. Uh, I'm back at Chelsea Sims Farms town because she also has a pet farm on top of her cake farms. So the first thing you'll notice when you arrive is that there are tons and tons of either dogs or cats, which in this case, it's tons and tons of pugs, which are three-star dogs in this game. And basically all you have to do it's just wait for the dogs to find treasure and tap the little bubbles to have them dig up the treasure that they found, which most of the time it's simoleons, but sometimes it is life points. By using this method, I usually do earn about one to three uh, LP every five minutes, which isn't as much as the cooking hobby. So I definitely recommend you do the cooking hobby, but the only times I do this method is when if all of my sims are busy and I don't have enough sims to do the cooking hobby method, then that's when I go to this method. It really does depend on luck on how many life points you get every few minutes or so, uh, because the treasure that the pets can find can be really unpredictable sometimes. So sometimes I earn five LP every five minutes and sometimes I only earn like one or two every five minutes. So that's how I earn my LP in The Sims Free Play, but now let's move on to the last resource, which is Social Points, or SP. There are really only two ways to get SP in this game, which is really unfortunate, but here is how I do it. So the first method of earning Social Points is to do your social tasks. So some social tasks can be completed in another sim town, which is the town that everyone has without needing Facebook or anything like that. But sometimes you get tasks that you are unable to complete because the objects that you need to complete it are not in another sim town. And if you don't have any neighbors on Facebook, the only workaround to that is to skip the task with life points, which is really unfortunate. So basically what you have to do, you have to go to another sim town and check each house to see if they have an object that your sim can use to complete the task. But if not, you can either skip it or add neighbors on Facebook that have those objects so you can complete it. Sometimes you'll get the social tasks that will only give you XP, which are usually the ones that are pretty easy, but the ones that are a little bit more difficult usually give you social points. So you have to just get past the tasks that will only give you XP to start earning those social points. So the final method I have for you guys for earning social points is to spin the social point flower. 
So a VIP feature that I have is I get a free uh, social point flower spin in my daily rewards. You can also pay 20 life points to spin it, which is kind of a lot. But if you use those cooking hobby methods like I showed you before, you can earn 20 LP in no time and take a spin. I do like to save my social points up for live events and stuff like that. I don't spend them right away. So that way, if there's a live event out that I really, really want to get the grand prize, I will save my social points so that way I can spend them on the live event to get myself a really nice head start. So guys, that is how I earn my simoleons, LP, and SP in The Sims Free Play. So I hope you found this video helpful and hopefully it gave you some ideas on how you could earn your LP, SP, and simoleons just like I did. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel as that really does help me out. I mostly post sim content, so if you're interested in that, then definitely consider subscribing. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.